Budget Blinds. Visit their showroom or call today for a free in-home consultation. All right, Moses joining me on the desk now for our first look at sports. Now, despite uh, the odd hiccup, the AAA Bobcats uh, seem to be unstoppable. That hiccup was on Saturday. It didn't really go well in terms of the W column for the Triple A's. They wanted to get back into their winning ways Sunday, taking on the Leduc Oil Kings. And of course, this one didn't start as well for them, but they do claw back. Down 3 2 in the second. Logan Ganey gets the puck off the wall and snipes one. Top corner. Bobcats tie it up at threes. We'll head to the third period now where the Cats are on the power play. Zane Franklin is going to find Ryan Shetler. And he'll snipe it from the blue line. The Baby Cats all of a sudden up 4-3. Just after that goal, Colby Walker finds Rin Atkinson, and he puts this one home. Well, that isn't loud at all. His first goal as a Triple-A Bobcat in nearly two seasons and well-deserved uh, for the Orange and Black. They are on their way to victory. And congratulations to Rin, by the way, ending that goalless drought. Uh, Leduc would get one back to make it 5-4. Ganey adding the empty net or four insur insurance. 6-4 is the final. After the game, we spoke to the head coach, Travis Clayton, about the win and Rin Atkinson about scoring his first goal as a cat. Our work ethic was there, and I just told the boys, keep working, and, you know, good things will happen. Obviously, the second and third period, we just kept going and going, and got a few bounces here and there, and, you know, came with, with a big W today. I had to get the monkey off my back. I had a nice feed from Walker, I think, so I just saw it go in. I'm like, oh, good. <laughs> uh, just good. And they kind of gave me a hard time to score one, so when I finally did, they went a little bit crazy, so. And sticking with the AAA Bobcats, forward Zane Franklin was named the AMHL's Player of the Month for January. Kind of a nice honor to have. Every, everybody on the team could have got it. I'm sure uh, we've all been playing good all year, really. So it, it's, kind of, it's nice to get some recognition, but it's, it's not a real big thing. Now, Franklin had six goals and two assists in seven games last month, helping the Bobcats go 6-1 and one during that stretch. With just two games left in the regular season, the Cats already having clinched the playoff spot and top seed in the North Division. Franklin will be looked upon to help the Cats have a deep playoff run. Myself as a leader, uh, like one of the go-to guys, and uh, and as, as much as they want the uh, pressure they want to put on me, I, I'm good with that. Now to Bantam Hockey. After taking a three-nothing lead into the third period, the foremost Heat. Just hang on for the 3-2 victory. The next contest now is February 13th in St. Albert. And in a Bantam female hockey, it was the Lloydminster Ice Cats dropping a 3-1 decision to Sherwood Park. The Ice Cats get some time off. They return to the ice February 20th at home versus Peace Country.